Today we're gonna make a butter board from the kitchen garden. So we got our butter, we got our bread. Now we just gotta go find some delicious things in the garden. So you've probably seen the butter board trend, but have you seen someone find all the toppings for their butter board inside their garden? I doubt it. So I'm going to show you how you can grow loads of things in little small spaces in your garden that you can harvest for a weekly butter board to impress your friends, your spouse, your kids, your neighbors, uh, or even yourself. In my case, I'm probably going to eat the whole thing all alone. So if you love making delicious dishes and you'd love for them to be from the garden, then you're going to absolutely love this episode. I've got my pruners. I got my bowl of water. Let's go find some things from the garden and turn it in to a delicious treat before dinner, after dinner, or it could just be dinner. All right, I like to have some color in my butter board, so I'm just gonna grab some edible flowers first. So I'm getting a little bit of calendula. So calendula is an edible flower. These have been growing in the garden for a while now, and they're in full bloom. All right, next I'm gonna grab a couple of snapdragon flowers. They're heading toward the end of the season, uh, but there are a few right here. And we've got some pinks and some oranges, which I think will be so fun. So I'm just gonna clip these and put them right into the water. Next thing I wanna do is this super fun onion flower here. Look how cute these bulbs are. And this is going to add some onion flavor to the butter board, which will be great. So I'm just gonna snip that like that. All right, so we got some color here. Now let's see what else we can find deeper in the garden. All right, my cilantro is completely going to seed, but I'm gonna try to grab some of the leaves right from the base. I can still get that nice cilantro taste in the butter board. Uh, not everybody loves cilantro, but everybody that's coming to my butter board party, they will. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of these chives. These are garlic chives. They're flat, a little bit different texture. So they'll be great on the butter board. They'll add a nice little spice. This arugula is going to flower. And so it's a super fun addition to the butter board. It's gonna have a little bit of green, this nice kind of pale yellow, buttery yellow flower. You can also have arugula on the butter board itself, but I'm thinking just these little pops of white flowers are gonna be so cute. And they all taste like arugula. So it gives you kind of a salad feel while you're drowning yourself in bread and butter. Next up is parsley. I love putting parsley on a butter board. It's so flavorful. It adds a really unique taste and the, the leaves are just, I mean, it is scream garden, right? It looks like grass, except you can eat it. It's really yummy. So this is a great addition to just sprinkle throughout a butter board. All right, next up, we're gonna grab some sugar snap peas. This will add a little bit of crunch to the butter board and make it more like a meal instead of just a snack. And the sugar snap peas are in high production right now. Uh, they're so beautiful, so tasty. You could actually also put the flowers on there if you wanted to, and some pea shoots. I'm mostly gonna focus on the fruit, but you could put all parts of the pea plant onto your butter board and you would not be sorry. All right, we're now ready to make a delicious butter board. So we have got a pound of butter. <laughs> Shh, don't tell, it's healthy-ish, ish. All right, so we're gonna start with one and we'll see if we need two. Uh, depends on how many people you're serving. If I'm coming, you're gonna need eight ounces. If uh, you wanna come too, I don't know, maybe two or three more ounces, okay? But if it's just for me, I need this much. Uh, and trust me, once you put the flavor on here, you're gonna want that much too. So you're just gonna get room temperature butter and you are gonna spread it over a clean board. So I just have a nice big wooden board and we're gonna surround this thing with bread once it's all set up. And you wanna kind of picture in your mind where you want the bread to be so that you don't go into the bread area with your butter. So we're gonna use this French bread so I can kind of feel, you know, with the edging, how much edge I need. If you're gonna be hosting a little, little party, little summer get together, you know, little we made it to the weekend kind of thing. This is so fun. It's a great way to use all those things you're growing in the garden, but you don't actually know what to do with them, you know? Uh, you know, I love having tons of herbs, loads of flowers in my gardens, but sometimes I'm like, wait, I didn't actually, I never did anything with those. So here's the thing, this is what you do with them. So you can get, you know, this is an art, not a science, obviously. Uh, so you can get, I, I did touch the butter there. I know some of y'all don't like people touching food, but. 
It's okay, I'm gonna eat this. And uh, my hands have only been in the dirt, so we're safe, okay? So we got this all spread out like this, kind of messy. This is your palette here that you're going to use to decorate with. So I'm gonna rest this over here on my carry gold packaging and I like to build with green first. So I'm gonna start with my parsley, nice and rinsed. I wanna make sure it's also dry. And then I am just going to kind of, you know, you can make a design, all those special people, they make like really cute little, you could make like a little scene here. You could be like Monet, you know, just Picasso, he doesn't do scenery, but Monet does, I'm pretty sure. So you could make this like a little, you know, little piece of art if you want. For me, I kind of go for just wild and scattered, but also uh, colorful. I like it to kind of imitate what my gardens look like, like color and green kind of spread all over. So start with my base and I like to build the base with green first. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more, try to get the corners here. And that's a nice base. So parsley is a great base for this. Another one that's a great base are chives. So I'm gonna take these chives, do kind of the same thing. Little short sprigs, just kind of scattered throughout. If you do the artwork thing, that's cool. But the problem with the artwork thing is the flavors aren't gonna be really spread out through the butter. So I do this more, I'm more about the eating, you know, than the seeing. Uh, so I like, you know, I want to, I'm thinking everybody's coming to the party and they're going to take like one scoop. So I'd really love for everybody to get all the flavors in each scoop. So next we're going to come on with our arugula flowers. I like the, to build these next because they're just white and green. And then we'll finish off with our, with our brighter things. So just going to kind of sprinkle these on here. So cute. So delicious, you're gonna get all that arugula flavor. It's so good and healthy-ish, you know? Like you're gonna be having a salad, sorta, you know? Just like, it's like a salad with dressing, you know? Something like that. All right, so we got our arugula. Now I am trying to decide with my peas how I wanna do this. There's a couple ways you could do this. You could split them open, you could cut them in half. I, uh, I think I'm just gonna lay them on here and see how it goes. Yeah, that's just what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna lay these on here whole. You don't have to do that, but I think that'll be kind of fun. These are what the French call mange tout, which means eat everything. Everything's edible. So every part of this pea is edible, so it's totally okay for me to just, you know, put the whole thing on the butter because it's all delicious, it's all nutritious, and it makes up for, um, for the fact that this is an entire pound of butter. All right, we are almost done. Ah, I think it looks so cute already. What do you think? It's all green and ah, so pretty. All right, so uh, now we're going to add a couple of onion flowers and these are, actually I think they may be, gar these are garlic flowers. And I just pinch off the little purple tips. So this is what's got the onion seed, the garlic seed in them. And they just add a little bit of subtle color and also a little bit of garlic flavor. So if you like garlic butter, you're gonna love some garlic seeds mixed into your butter board. Uh, this happens whenever your garlic goes to seed, usually in the second year, and it's a fun way to use them if you're not going to you know, dry them and save them. All right, so got our garlic flowers, garlic seeds. Now we're gonna bring the color. So I've got some calendula here. That was the first thing we harvested. And you don't want to put the whole flower. I mean, you could, but that's really going to fill up someone's mouth. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit much. Instead, you actually just want to pull the petals from your calendula and just sprinkle them like salt and pepper on top. And I forgot, I should have said, I should have brought out here. It does help to put a little bit of little, you know, uh, salt, kosher salt on top makes it super duper tasty. All right, we've got our calendula. I've got just a little bit of orange here to throw on. And a little bit, a little bit damp petals, but aren't they so pretty? Now we're gonna put the pop of color is these snapdragons. I mean, look at that little petal. Is that the craziest, coolest thing ever? So this is really like our crowning little piece of the mix. I'm gonna grab a few more of these. 
dry them off. And our little butter board is coming together. And the cool thing is all we had to buy was the butter. And then you end up with this incredibly gourmet treat and appetizer that is so beautiful. I mean, I just love the colors. Now I did, right after we finished uh, in the garden, I did grab two French breakfast radishes. I thought that would just be a really fun little topping and add a little bit of pink and white. So I gave them a quick rinse and you're going to really want to slice these really nice and thin because they are gonna be spicy, but it's a nice, I could see myself like literally knocking this whole board over. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Actually, that'd be really sad. I would still eat it though. Um, all right, so we're just going to throw these little, aren't these cute? It like brings it all together. You've got a little bit of white, a little bit of pink on there and it absolutely finishes it off, makes it gorgeous. All right, so we'll add one more radish on there and then all we gotta do is cut the bread. Slice it up, slice and dice, and you want this to be as easy for your guests to access as possible. So I go ahead, get the bread fully sliced out like this and you know, then put into little small pieces. And then really what you wanna do is just have all your bread situated right around your, your butter board like this. You can even rip it. Hey, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna rip this and put your bread all around so that all your guests, even if it's just you, can just come up to the butter board grab their bread, dip in, and have the most delicious garden to table experience. So when I did my book launch party last spring, uh, we did just this. We had some great fresh bread. I didn't even buy, I didn't even make the bread. And uh, I pulled all these things from the garden like this. And we had all kinds of other delicious things, but the one thing that everybody talked about was the butter board. And that was the one thing that got demolished. Uh, I had like three bites left and I shared it with my kids when they got home and they were literally begging for more. They're like, where is the butter board? So if you want just a simple, easy way to enjoy the garden this season, um, this is it. I mean, it's so gorgeous, so colorful. And you know, if you count the bread and the butter, you know, as food groups, which I do, then uh, this is also an extremely healthy treat. So if you love making food from the garden, then you gotta stick around the Gardenery channel. We have uh, an episode you gotta watch about my smoose. Have you heard of smoose? I love to make smoose from the garden and you will too. If you love this idea, you're gonna love the smoose. So you can watch that video right after this one. And if you wanna learn how to grow, herbs just like this so you can make your own butter, butter board. We have a complete herb garden guide that you can check out right below this video. You can get it, download it for free and uh, learn how to grow your own herbs right away. Thanks so much for watching the Gardenary channel. Thanks for making a butter board with me. I love you for it. And now I'm gonna go eat. <laughs>